Hey guys, uh, welcome to Cornwall. This is where my family moved to, uh, well, a long time ago now. I think we've been based here since about 97. And uh, I just wanted to show you how ridiculous the internet situation here is. So first off, up that road, the one that says road closed, up the road, uh, less than 100 meters is the A30. And the A30, <laughs> is the sort of main road that runs through Cornwall. The main road in which fiber optic uh, cables are laid beside the same fiber optic cables that sort of go from London to New York. So we're talking probably about the, the you know, the, the biggest internet pipe possibly on the planet is just 100 meters that way, uh, in fact less. And the way it works is that um, there is a there's some sort of junction box up there. Um, there are many lines, but one of them probably maintained by BT or OpenReach. It runs down through here. I don't. Can you see that? Can you see these? Uh, I think it says uh, telecom there. It runs through these um, conduits down the road to a junction box, which is um, about a click away. And that junction box then feeds a copper uh, cable, I believe, back underneath through here, underneath through here, up into this post on my parents' property. Can you see that post? So I'm, I wanted to show you how it works. And I can tell you pretty much that uh, this method isn't great because it's using copper. There's a very small copper cable um, running through that cable adjacent to all those trees which rub against it and uh, into the, uh, the property. Let me, let me show you a bit closer in a bit. Right, so the twisted copper pair comes from down on the road via these, uh, these posts and they come up here as you can see here, uh, there, and then they go across the way into, into my, my parents' property. But it's worth noticing that we've had this problem at least twice now, probably three times, where trees uh, grow into the copper wire and uh, break it or cause um, an intermittent line fault, which is the worst because one day it might just not work and the other day it does work. And uh, the trouble with copper now is that it's extremely difficult to diagnose issues with it. The issues are unreliable line, uh, just a pure network outage of uh, more than a week. And we're always at the mercy of British Telecom OpenReach. So they own and maintain that line that I really wish I could replace with a fiber optic cable, but I can't. Um, at the mercy of British Telecom and that terrible fragile copper line that runs right to that master socket. So until that master socket is owned by British Telecom, BT. And uh, from, that, from that master socket, I may, I, I control that and it just goes up there to my modem. So this filter coppered line goes into my modem. This is the 21st century uh, FTTC uh, Way of doing it and um, my ASP is probably the best in the country on Andrews and Arnold and that goes to a gigabit hub which is kind of pointless considering the speed of my my internet uh, one of the cables goes down through to the next room through the wall around the cupboard and I have it wired to my computer just to avoid any uh, w wire wireless issues so it's wired, it's the best it can get. And that's typically the speeds I get. And you might be thinking, well, 15 down isn't so bad. But the trouble is, the upload is, is just atrocious. And, and it frequently gets uh, saturated, so the whole line becomes unstable. You know, the minute you sort of accidentally enable iCloud or some other service where it starts to back up or upload images and our whole internet connection becomes unstable. 
as a result because as you can see we can only upload 0 0.5 megabits per second it's it's just really I'm not looking forward to uploading this video <laughs> it's gonna take hours upon hours upon hours so you're probably thinking oh boohoo you've got a slow internet connection so what well the problem is is that well here in Cornwall the, the government spent millions upgrading the infrastructure and I think it's a bit of a scandal that we still really have slow internet out here. When it, when it first came online, there was a lot of promise. Like for example, here for my line, the promise of up to 24 megabits, up to 5.6, which was quite a big upgrade what it was previously, which was 6.26. So my internet connection almost doubled. So not only did the government put millions and millions into this upgrade, which really isn't very effective, I also had to pay an extra £10 a month just to get access to this fibre to the cabinet uh, rollout. There's fibre, fi super fast fibre to the cabinet, but from that cabinet it's all copper wires to people's homes. And there's been studies to say that, that fibre to the cabinet is worse than ADSL if you're more than two kilometres away. I'll put, I'll put a link in the description. And um, on the availability checker, where it estimates your, your uh, signal strength, oddly, they say that, my, that I'm more than three clicks away from the cabinet. I measured it myself. I put a link. I'm only one click away from the cabinet. So what's up with that, BT? They have never responded to my... Um, my queries in a, in a detailed uh, way. So the internet speed at home has called myself and my family up untold grief. I've basically had to move to Singapore just to do my business and have a fast internet connection. I'm not joking because uh, my product is about 400 megabytes and if I want to upload it, I, it will just take me more than overnight sometimes to, to upload it from this connection even though it's been upgraded to super fast. I've um, I've written to my past MP. I've written to my current MP, and they don't seem to really get to sort of get it. They they sort of like well we'll we'll contact Superfast and and monitor the situation. Hmm. Well, I'm monitoring the situation myself, and it hasn't really improved, and it's just been a waste of money, and um, given me a lot of grief. So what's the solution? Well, there was an interesting Ofcom link. Um, where they were saying that they were going to maybe um, dethrone BT Openreach as the only people that can do your your internet. So in my ideal world, it would be something like Singapore. I can actually get a contractor to put in a fiber optic line into my apartment and string it to somebody. So in a similar way, I would like to put a fiber optic connection from my home and here here in the UK all the way to the to the cabinet which is a, about a kilometer away I will pay with it for it I will get a contractor to do it and then I can finally enjoy some sane uh, internet speeds and um, and enjoy all the benefits with the fiber optic technology you know like uh, upgrade proof and if there is a problem like a tree rubbing or breaking a cable it's very easy to diagnose exactly where the problem is unlike copper so it should be hellishly more stable and just better. So to conclude, I think Superfast Cornwall is paying a scandal. It's been a waste of money. The technology, the implementation is just wrong. And I really hope Ofcom and BT will be broken up so that contractors, private private uh, contractors, private competition can help the, really make um, and really improve the internet here in Cornwall. Thank you for watching.